The highly anticipated Jordan 1 Lost and Found is releasing soon and stock is rumored to be a whopping 500,000 pairs. What does this mean? Jordan 1 Lost and Found will be dropping on November 19th for $180. It features a varsity red and black sale muslin upper, just like the typical Jordan 1 Chicago colorway. Although these do feature the vintage, aged vibe, and when it comes to the box and accessories, the same goes as well. The stock keeping unit for these is DZ5485-612. And as stated previously, the stock on these is rumored to be an astounding 500,000 pairs. Now, that stock is not from my own source, which I will keep you guys updated on, but for the sake of the topic of the video, let's assume that this number is indeed approximately accurate. There seems to be a lot of people online, even some YouTubers, who believe that with this massive 500,000 stock, consequently, these will not resell at all. And some take a more reasonable approach by hypothesizing perhaps they will resell, just not for that much. Hence, I figured I'd jump in and give my take on the matter. Undoubtedly, yes, 500,000 pairs is a rather large number, even for a general release Jordan. However, let's also not forget that we have seen numbers even larger than this in the past. A good example would be the Jordan 11 Concord back in 2018. This was a classic colorway with insanely high demand. Hence, Nike capitalized by producing nearly 1 million men's pairs alone, and then a few hundred thousand more between the smaller sizes as well. Yes, the men's concords were essentially doubled the amount of stock that is rumored for these Chicago or Lost and Found Jordan 1s. The Brad 11s also had very high stock, and according to Nike's own earnings report, they were quoted as saying the Brad 11 was the largest release they ever had, thus even more stock than the Concord Jordan 11. Now, when these first released, they sold out just like any hype sneaker rather quickly. Not only that, but despite their very high retails of $220, they still managed to maintain profitability, although not with the greatest margin. Both the Jordan 11 Concord and Jordan 11 Bread were selling in the high 200s to low 300s post drop, leaving room for profitability with or without tax, although just not with the greatest margin. So this all happened in spite of that absolutely massive stock. And now we have the Jordan 1 Lost and Found, rumored to have 500,000 stock. That's half the Concords and theoretically should be significantly less than half of the Bread 11s. So in order for these Jordan 1 lost and found to not resell or even not resell for that much quote unquote from their $180 retail, they would need to resell for significantly less than the Concord and Bread 11s. But given that the Concord and Bread 11s had significantly more stock, consequently you'd be arguing that the lost and found Jordan 1 has significantly less demand, thus compensating for the stock discrepancy. Perhaps an argument can be made that the Concord and Bread 11s have more demand than the lost and found ones or equal to whatever, but no argument can illustrate significantly less demand. In fact, I myself would go as far to say that the lost and found Jordan 1 will actually have more demand than the Bread and Jordan 11 Concord. I mean guys, this is the Chicago Jordan 1 colorway. Maybe you're not a big fan of the vintage aged vibe, but there are plenty of people who either appreciate it or simply don't give a f It's a Chicago Jordan 1 colorway at the end of the day. The 2015 Jordan 1 Chicago Retro is now reselling for $1,500, and this isn't even the trophy room or off-white pair. It's just a classic Chicago colorway. And the low point that these reached after they initially released was the low 400s coming from a $160 retail. Even the 2013 pair with the Jumpman on them sells for nearly 1000 And all the way back in 2013, despite the size of the sneaker market relative to now, these that retailed for $110 back then were reselling for just below 200. Not much critical thinking is required to understand why this is. These are not only a beautiful colorway, but these are literally the first ever Jordan 1 colorway that Jordan wore. And so with that, despite the very large 500,000 rumored stock that these do indeed have, I'm certainly expecting these to be very profitable with a great margin from that $180 retail. I would expect prices to remain above 300 post drop at the moment, and some of the larger sizes maybe even touching 400. But of course, I may update this as we do approach the release. 
Either way, I'm not expecting these to sit, not expecting these to brick, and I'm not expecting these to be an easy cop by any means, so you better hope for the best. I think that people who are thinking that these will be an easy cop or even resell for a very low amount are simply engaging in wishful thinking and they're ignoring the other data that's available, such as the Jordan 11 examples that I provided. I think one of the biggest mistakes people generally make, and I'm guilty of it too, is wishful thinking. You know, like you want something to be true even if it isn't true. Um, and so you ignore the things that, uh, you, you ignore the real truth because of what you want to be true. Let me know what you guys think though. Again, this is just my opinion. I can't predict the future. I implore you to share your notions down in the comments below. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, or perhaps if you learned a thing or two, subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated on all hyped releases. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast residential proxies from Kip Proxies. You can now also join eDeals with the link in the description below for only $14.99 per month. Furthermore, you can feel free to follow Endurance and Twitter for updates on the next restock or key giveaways. And the same goes for Gargantua if you want to keep up with the progress or restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you so you guys stay updated on our urgent info like I was going over today. With that, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And of course, good luck on these when they release because I believe you will need it.